I'm just okay. trying to get you to laugh. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Dying on a Hill. Hello. Pod- oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Dying on a Hill, the podcast about marketing and business stuff that someone should have given up on before it was too late. Today, we're talking about a really, uh, we're, let's just call it an innovative invention. Innovative. And when something is an innovative invention, quote unquote, of course it belongs on crowdfunding. Absolutely. And if it belongs on crowdfunding, it's probably a scam. <laughs> Oh, and you know what I like? Scams. Scams. Yeah, so this is, I guess this is going to be episode two of Crowd Scams. Ooh, Crowd Scams. Awesome. Anyways. Do people know who I am? Yeah, you're you're my wife. Okay. God, that sounded awful. I just, <laughs> <laughs> you are only my wife. That is your main identity. Oh my God. This old timey property of me. <laughs> These women folk. Nah, this is this is Mary Ann Garcia, my awesome wife, who is infinitely more funny than I am. No, I'm not. Uh, has more friends than me. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, our just, friends are mutual. Well, now. yeah, I've that's s- what happens when you get married. I've stolen them. Well, that's I've stolen some of yours. Yeah, but yours are better. <laughs> <laughs> I I won out on that. Fair enough. <laughs> they are pretty great. Yeah. So today we're talking about this little gadget that took the world by storm called the Triton. Oh. The world's first artificial gills rebreather. Wait, so like a <laughs> what? Like a scuba situation? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was it was too cool to be true real or even possible <laughs> and it's named after uh the little mermaid's dad uh i think king triton well apparently triton is the son of poseidon yes. according to mythology dictionary number six number 16 number 16 <laughs> from huh. see you in history interesting because that's just on my my, on my search feed here playlist. as i'm about to pull up a, a video for y'all to watch um but yeah no a rebreather is this is this kind of like it, it first started out in james bond's uh thunderball where like you put on a thing and then you can breathe underwater basically just or like, or just it, like a fish yeah okay. or or it holds enough oxygen that you can be down there for a while very cool um the problem is that those those tanks that people wear on the back of mm-hmm. there, those are already filled with compressed air. Right. So when you shrink it by like 200% yeah. or 200 times, yeah. uh, it doesn't really hold that much. Right. So it's like the holy grail, grail of diving because it's pretty much impossible. Remember that diver that we saw in fucking Cabo? The one that died? Did he die? <laughs> probably done. oh my god they were just so trying not to make it we went paddle boarding <laughs> and then as we were coming back there was some kind of diver expedition situation happening and our paddleboard instructor all of a sudden just raced out to where this guy was wa- was he waving like a red flag or something like that where he was like bobbing up and down and yeah he was kind of just floating there yeah I could see his face. He didn't at first. At first, I didn't like nothing registered, and then all of a sudden, I see him being dragged onto a boat. And then the woman comes back, the woman who's teaching us, and she comes back and says, "Um, he was blue. That doesn't look good." And that's how she said it. Yeah, she. I mean, she was trying probably not to to make us freak out in the moment. She was more real than she was yep. afterwards in yep. the moment she's like he's probably not going to be okay yep because even if he's alive he was down there probably for a while and he 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 swallowed water oh he didn't God. breathe right right uh so yeah he wishes he had the train oh my god <laughs> yeah. i didn't even mean for it to be like that but of course i just set you up of course i did Okay, so I guess... I'm going to Google it later and see if I can find if that man is all right. I'm sure he got uh, 
shoot away into a real good Mexican hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we are. We're playing a oh, little video. Oh, dear God. Is this from the 80s? No, this is just made like on iMovie. Oh. But this here's the commercial for the Triton. The first rebreather. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't realize he'd be in this. <laughs> but he's not, that guy's not using a trident. No, he's using, he's a, using snorkel. a snorkel. <laughs> and not correctly either. <laughs> and this video was clearly made by him because it's terrible. He's, he's, he's pushing it in manually. Wow, I oh. So, yep. This is a horrible video. Sure. To breathe underwater. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Scuba gear is complicated. Oh my God. Tell me how you've solved that. <laughs> oh, Saeed Kademi. All right, man. There you are. What? Oh yeah. See, that's working. <laughs> No, you just have a piece of rubber in your mouth, man. It's like a gag ball. It's n That's not going to help you breathe. So he's still in an air filter. Okay, change the shot. <laughs> well, they're just showing him continually being underwater using the rebreather, right? Yeah. Are, are you convinced? I'm convinced. Not at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Well, there's a new invention for horse lovers. Yeah. Oh, man. Horseshoes that are not harmful or painful. Yeah, but they probably, like, the whole point of them is that they're tough. Like, that's why they're made out of metal. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about horseshoes. Anyways, back to the Triton. Okay. <laughs> so according to Snopes, the original design was unveiled by who you just saw in the video, Jebron Yaun. Uh, I'm probably definitely mispronouncing his name. So it was a good try, though. Fucking deal with it. Okay. People, right? <laughs> um, he made it for his graduation product uh, project from the Samsung Art and Design Institute. Uh -huh. um, you know, because Korea, like Samsung, is basically state-sponsored. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and so is Kia. Yeah. 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 That sounds good. Um, so Jabun, uh, by any measure, I think like you can say he was pretty talented. Mm -hmm. uh, he did a lot of he did a lot of like quality renders of products. Uh, but but the products like a lot of things that people make renders for, they, they just clearly didn't work. They were all concept. Like the right. idea of a concept is that it doesn't actually work. But conceptually, it could mm. like. How, like mo most of the shit that people put in auto shows like they never ever get made right. and the technology is just it's never gonna happen just like look at this shiny new thing this right. could this is in 2047 is gonna be the new thing R exactly yeah. it's like uh when people it's it's trying to show that like basically to investors that a company is thinking ahead and it's investing in its future mm -hmm. it's not just relying on his laurels and blah 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 so that was his thing he just made a endless stream of like renders for products that would never see the light of day would never be sold so why didn't he fine. just become like a, a graphic designer well you know he did oh okay <laughs> that's kind of the end of the story for him i actually reached out to him because um, I was able to stalk him online. Okay. Uh, again, it's very surprising how easy it is to find these people. I'm, I'm fascinated. Um, he even won like third. He even won uh, third place in 2013 in a design contest for this company called Et Electra Lux, uh, which sounds fake. It's not. No, it sounds familiar, actually. Yeah, I mean, are you thinking of uh, Eon Flux? <laughs> I don't know. Elon Musk. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like I'm a, so. I'm so over all this modern 
fucking technology. I just want to, I'm going to (laughs) bail. You're done with it. I'm bailing. So here's what he would come up with. Like, here's a foldable laptop, right? That's what yours is, right? Yeah, but it's like a bendy screen thing, I think. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, that looks stupid. Whatever. Okay. Here's a, a air filter that is actually your wall. And so the air is supposed to filter through these gills. The, the gill thing is what he won. That's creepy to me. That's what he won third prize for. I don't like the look of it. You know, I have that thing of like when people look at holes and uh-huh. they don't like that. Uh-huh. That I have that. And that's what I, when I see that, that's what I think of. And I think that that's gross. I just need to get you to look at more holes. I don't want to look at holes. That's the point. Next time we walk by some like, uh, next time we're in like a Hollywood remodded office mm-hmm. where it's all just a concrete box. I'm going to make sure to point out all those nice little, little concrete holes to you. Have you ever seen, it's like <laughs> specific holes though, like. I don't know. I'll show you later. It like disgusts me. It disgusts me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and here's like a watch he made. The watch actually is the most practical. Okay. Thing. Yeah, right. It's ugly, but you know. Yeah, I would never wear that, but fair enough. Good so, for you. So this was this guy's life. You know, he had a habit of designing impossible things for, for design's sake. And I think the Triton was one of those. Um, the people actually were talking about the Triton as far back as like 2013. Mm-hmm. So this is something that sort of went viral on its own. Okay. Right. And the aggregators and affiliate networks based like whenever you scroll down to the bottom of a, like a clickbait article oh, and yeah. you see all of those other clickbait articles. At There's the bottom, a lot of articles with holes in them at the bottom of that. And it's gross. Yeah. Cause it's not really a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a it's like come on it's not a real thing what's not a real thing whatever the whole thing is you're no it about. is a thing google it you, right now you only know about it because of the clickbait articles no i had a conversation with ryan about this not jen's ryan ryan Bergara from unsolved because he has the same problem yeah but doesn't mean it's a thing it it's just means th- everyone read an article no baby <laughs> no no <laughs> Where's it's, my phone? Um, you're not going to Google something in the middle of the podcast. Yes, I can. Because I will. Never mind. We'll have this. <laughs> we will have this discussion off mic. And I will show you that it's a thing. I'm sure it's an Internet thing. It's, it's not, not an, an actual. Inter- it's not it's a like real. a phobia. It's the, it's a it's a phobia you didn't know you have until you read about it, though. Oh it's not a real phobia. Listen, everyone. <laughs> Sometimes my husband just can't let something go yeah so anyways <laughs> next to those articles that are complete bullshit <laughs> okay that are just trying to get you to click on a thing yes because that's yes. all they're doing okay if even if it is a real thing i understand everyone who thinks they have it Great. do not have it awesome <laughs> they awesome. don't have it okay whatever you say because the whole point of uh-huh. the stop it <laughs> the whole point of the affiliate networks and the whole point of these aggregators is to just get you in an endless cycle of clicking on shit. And the best way to do that is through diet fads, um, phobias, and like, oh, you're not going to believe what this person looks like. It's just an endless stream of bullshit. Yeah, and I, fell, I fall for it. <laughs> for sure. So one of those things is like, you'll never believe what this new fucking thing is. And so the Triton was one of those new fucking things. Okay. Like, oh, it's too good to be true, blah, blah, blah. So enter Saeed Kademi, the guy that we saw swimming underneath the water all there. His co-star. His co-star. Okay. So he is listed as Triton's CEO. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I bring him up now is because, you know, in order to have a CEO, you need to have a company, which means this thing went from being a design to actually being a product. (laughs) Oh, dear. <laughs> and um, after this point, Jubion was not really involved, it seems like. It seems after the, that, it was all Saeed. And uh, a lot of the communications that come from the company are actually from him at this point. From Saeed? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if he merely bought the design or or what, like what kind of agreement that was. But it seems like the it went from... Uh, this, I, I keep looking at his name and I'm like, oh, I can't read that. 
<laughs> I so, get it. Uh, so so J Bones is what I'll call him. Perfect. Cool. So J Bones. Uh, Let's just call him J. <laughs> I just feel like that's, I don't want to be racist, you know, shit. Well, his name J. is G-E-A-B-Y-U-N. G- G- Let's call him G. G? Is, did you say that his name starts with a G? I said it with a J. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, let's call him J. <laughs> okay, so J made the design, and I'm pretty sure what happened was that this guy comes across it goes, hey, I have connections. I can do this thing. We can make this. Is it real? And he's like, yeah, sure. It's fucking real. Keep in mind, Jay's expertise is not in anything scientific. It's design. It's all design. Sure. He is just a guy that can make things in CAD. Okay. That's it. Or Rhino. Whatever your Good preference for you. is. Right. So who was this guy? Well, according to his LinkedIn, because of course I can stalk everyone oh, on LinkedIn God, now. Thanks, premium. Uh, he has a doctorate, but doesn't say what school it's from. Fun. <laughs> uh, he's currently the the chairman and CEO of a company called Sabalon Kodro My One, uh, which again, it's it's such a fake fucking name that like there's no way this is a real company. Um, but it's best. It, it it's. It's basically a front for garbage from Alibaba. I see. The drop ship drop shipping? Yes. Is it that's what this is? Yeah. So a, okay. so a lot of people in developing countries, uh, they will be the go between between mm-hmm. like American entrepreneurs and people who just need something built mm-hmm. or made or, or fabricated or whatever. And they'll start these companies that are basically just them. Uh, being a translator to a factory or they're they have like an exclusive deal with a factory or something cool. it's it's just basically a middleman kind of thing so here's his biography from a website called myopportunity.com because mm-hmm. again of course i can find this stuff <laughs> oh the internet uh i currently work at sabalon kodro my one company locally located in tehran iran islamic republic of yeah uh, Sabalon Kodro My One Company offers the following products or services. Automotive and manufacturer. <laughs> okay. In addition to offering these products or services, I am looking to make a purchase for the following industries within the next few weeks. Automotive. Detail and automotive. Sales. <laughs> yeah. So. This sounds like a, a spam email. <laughs> That's his bio. Okay. <laughs> and and wouldn't you know it, as soon as this guy gets involved, it pops up on Indiegogo. Dear God. <laughs> Don't fund me. Am I right? <laughs> no, that's a subreddit I highly recommend. And uh, to, to let you know how well that crowdfunding campaign went, uh, first off, it raised two hundred thousand dollars damn good pretty for you. pretty fast because again it was it already had a kind of like viral nature to it so and it, it and it took about a like it had a year to build up too so from it hitting from 2013 to it actually launching in 2014 i feel like it was one of those internet like it's it's like a it's like a ghost kind of like mm. if you show someone a picture of it in 2015 and they just spent enough time on the internet chances are they have seen that little scuba thing design sure right sure because it's it was just so prevalent <laughs> yeah on the aggregators and and these things and this was like early buzzfeed right yeah 2014 2013 yeah that was baby buzzfeed yeah so that's prime like blogging yeah time which is when everyone would have seen this shit mm-hmm. uh to let you know how how much people like him <laughs> I'm just going to I'm going to read this like if there's a meme, but it's not really a meme. It's it's basically a couple of paragraphs on a photo. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so it goes Indiegogo, a San Francisco, San Francisco company helped this guy scam 390K from the public. Indiegogo is aware that Saeed Kademi has directed a fraudulent campaign for a product that doesn't exist. But they are going to send him the money on May 1st with no strings attached. Why? Because they get a handsome cut of the action. Welcome to the dark side of crowdfunding. And then just to like, 
I guess just to drive the point home, they have a picture of him lighting a cigar. Oh, God. Because only like rich pieces dealer. of shit smoke cigars with sunglasses. Yes. So, like I said, it uh, popped up on Indiegogo, raised about $200,000. That's when people who actually know about scuba diving. (laughs) I can't wait. (laughs) That's when they actually did some sciencing. Excellent. (laughs) And so the blog Deep Sea Dive, and it is a blog. Oh, my God. Did you have to do a deep dive to find deep sea dive? I actually didn't. It was on the front page of Google. You could have just like went along with the joke I was trying to make. I had to do a shallow dive. I just had to dip. Got it. I had to snorkel. Snorkel. I had to snorkel for this. So here's the uh, here's an excerpt. It's it's only two paragraphs. It is what the excerpt is from is like a three page really in depth breakdown on the science behind not just what is required to pull oxygen from water, Mm -hmm. but also how much oxygen your body actually needs versus the oxygen a fish would need and all that stuff got it um so here's a quick little excerpt uh to supply you with oxygen at normal resting breathing rates the triton would need to filter 15 times 6 liters equaling 90 liters per minute or about 24 gallons for scale 25 gallons a minute is about as much as a quarter horsepower sub pump pushes out depending on static head jesus christ (laughs) Without any kind of pump in the Triton to move water through the device, it relies on swimming and presumably breathing suction, question mark, parenthetical, to create the flow of water. There's too many variables in that. But let's just say you'd certainly have to swim so fast to supply the needs of 115 BPM that you wouldn't be breathing 15 BPM anymore. Mm. (laughs) All of this assumes the device is only stripping oxygen from the water. But if you think about it, that wouldn't work very well. You'll get about 25 milliliters of pure oxygen, but nothing else. The human mouth holds about 75 milliliters alone. Don't ask how I know this. Let's just say that I learned it at college. With at least that much again in the trachea, it's a rough... (laughs) He says it was a rough night. Clearly. (laughs) So... You're six breaths in just to get gas to your bronchi, let alone the avioli where the magic happens. So he's basically saying is for this thing to work, you're going to have to be pumping 25 gallons a minute through it. But if you're doing that, you're exerting so much like actual effort that you're going to need more than what 25 gallons a minute can actually provide. On top of that, even if it did do all of that and like, and like, the pumping and everything worked correctly. Mm-hmm. Your it's actually not enough air to even get to your lungs, let alone fill them. Well, when I was watching the video, uh huh. Do you remember the the children's game, Bop It? Uh huh. It looks like they took a Bop It and put some sort of device, um, like um. Like a Bane situation Mm -hmm. and just swam around with that. Right. Well, here's what Kadami had to say. Because he didn't like people calling out, you know, this real labor of love for him. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) Please. We have a regulator that makes Triton deliver enough oxygen to the swimmer. Each part has been developed with a water diving expert. Uh, Oh, (laughs) a water diving expert. And that's it. He didn't respond to any questions about the lack of a water pump or how the regulator works after Excellent. that. I love this so much. Please keep going. When confronted that the product was actually impossible, he f- continued or later said to another comment, what makes Triton work with the artificial gills is liquid oxygen. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Saeed Kademi, co-founder and CEO of Triton, told CNBC via email. Awesome. For us, the difficulty to make Triton work was how to connect these two technologies in Triton. This is the way Triton can produce enough oxygen for a human to breathe from. <laughs> Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Yeah, so of course that was complete bullshit. 
Uh, but it didn't stop the campaign from raising nine hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> That's so much money right? for a bop it. For a bop it. For a thing that definitely doesn't work. Like, okay, I have a question. Sure. <laughs> did did you actually, you found the GoFundMe page? Is it GoFundMe or Indiegogo? It's Indiegogo. Did you find the Indiegogo page or was it already shut down? It's already shut down. Okay. Because I am very curious about the folks that give their money to something like this again i think it goes into just the i think it goes into the the psychology of of a crowdfunding backer right Mm -hmm. it's someone who just wants to have that fucking brand new toy that no one else has and they feel like there's some like social capital status in having it sure yeah So they can make an Instagram video about it? I mean, this was before Instagram videos. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Remember when Instagram was just photos? Oh, yeah. It was great. It was a great time in American history. Yeah. Remember when TikTok was Vine? Oh, I miss Vine so And it actually had funny people on it? Oh, my God. Will Sasso's Vine was everything. Those fucking lemons, man. God. Will Sasso, if you're listening, we love you. And we appreciate (laughs) you so much. Uh, So... Another quote from the Telegraph, uh, when they asked about the design needing an equally impossible battery for, <laughs> for their impossible, because because the, the a battery didn't exist. Okay, right. To to even supply the energy for any of this, shit, right? Right. Uh, so he goes a battery that is powerful enough. Yeah, to either pump the liquid right. or just any of it. None of it makes any fucking sense. Wow. And the way that they said, uh, for for those uh, who who didn't hear on the the video, and I'll, I'll see if I can put a. Sometimes I want to put the video in, but it doesn't let me because it has music in it. Or also, some shit. the video is shit. Oh yeah, so it's a total dog don't shit. Don't even video. worry about it. <laughs> it's uh <laughs> so the way they said it works is by squeezing and filtering water through microscopic little pores, and the idea being that the oxygen gets through the pores. But nothing else else in the water does, hence it being a gill system. Right? Yeah. Uh, I wish you all could see my face. <laughs> because I am... Here's the thing. I am not the smartest woman. Never have been. Not a smart person. Smartish. But like... You're clever. I'm clever. I've gotten by with being clever pretty much my whole life. But when I see shit like this, like the the amount of bullshit that comes out of it, and I like convincingly enough could convince like a dummy like me to buy it. It's still even a dummy like me looks at something like that and goes, "No, that's <laughs> not how any of it works." I am not even a scuba person, and I mean, if you would like me to use it. I'll try it and then I'll die. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm not that dumb. (laughs) So, well, again, well, so it sounds like you'd have to be someone that they would have to to win back. I I am not convinced in the slightest. Well, what would you think if if they had sent you this little tidbit. Oh, Lord. We will re- release new information later this year when we have the patents on the rest of the components on how Triton works. <laughs> so they don't even know how it works. So they, if nothing... They're saying, we can't tell you how it works because it's so Shh. secret. It's a secret. It's a sh- secret. It's a secret. <laughs> so, of course, this was bullshit. And... To their credit, it was the IG, uh, in, it was the um, Indiegogo backers that actually got the ball rolling on this thing being shut down. Good, because I think some people they entered it with good faith, mm-hmm. as you would. And, and this was also like this was before a lot of scams had happened. Right, scams really hit their their peak in like 2014, yeah, 2015. When stuff got like got a lot more popular. Right. So this mm. was actually one of the early this was like a part of the first wave of scams. 
and it looked legit enough in so much as it had renders like it mm-hmm. had a professional design person behind it at right. least right they were able to manufacture quote unquote prototypes which were obviously just 3d printed parts Bop- boppets yeah <laughs> like you and uh so uh here's a quote from reddit <laughs> oh i love reddit so much shout out to my redditors from an uh, alleged member of this group that that helped get it shut down We organized a small group of volunteers here in the San Francisco Bay Area in order to put pressure on Indiegogo. My own company provides litigation support for a number of prominent local law firms, including one that specializes in diving and marine-related litigation. He's a maritime lawyer. He's a maritime lawyer. (laughs) We called in some favors to get them to participate with us so that we would be taken seriously. We had a large package of documents with supporting legal materials delivered by certified mail to the vice president and general counsel of Indiegogo. We also obtained the support and assistance of a California legislative assemblyman who expressed his willingness to spearhead an investigation if the outcome indeed was misappropriation of funds from innocent contributors. So that's when everything got shut down and it all got refunded Mm the 900K. So... From here, there's not much to report on because mm-hmm. they, they got re- caught red handed. Um, but it looks like Saeed's living in Sacramento, okay. uh, where he tried to launch another uh, product, which is the Travel Buddy Pillow, uh, or also called the Smart Sweden. It's, it's, it's real dumb. <laughs> What the fuck is that? It's basically an inflatable donut that goes around your head. It's a a hoodie with a a a travel pillow. That's it. You don't need to buy it. You can make one yourself. Yeah. You can just wear a hoodie and And have a travel travel pillow. So what's the fire festival guy's name? Billy. Billy, Uh, Billy, Billy. I don't know. I was going to make a cool fucking statement. Like (laughs) this, this guy is like the Billy of... Crowdfunding. Sh- crowdfunding and schlocky products well i mean on honestly he, he he took another shot and he failed so he's probably just like a bartender or something or maybe he's practicing medicine Mar- or maritime law maritime law that's the doctorate he had from the school oh, he didn't want to tell us about fun <laughs> and but the interesting thing is that jabun um on the other end he's actually like doing what he does the best Uh, i'm sorry i and uh i just wrote this down and sometimes i write things down that like i write in a snarkier tone than i really should i know honey yeah it's fine yeah so the thing he does best is designing fake shit (laughs) well you know so following triton he went on to work for a guy named andrew orakov to design this thing called the selfie mirror Jesus. And a, it's a mirror that lets you take selfies. Remember that time when I said I was bailing because of this modern bullshit? Oh. I've been thinking a lot about like just shit, you know, like the shit we buy and like where it goes after we're done with it. Mm-hmm. I don't. Ugh. So there's a big fat camera. It's basically a mirror with a camera. Okay. In it. Yep. Similar, I guess, to that workout mirror. The mirror, yeah. The mirror. That which is some fucking straight up black mirror shit. Um, oh, um, but uh, as you saw, it only ever raised five thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, Jabun's design, Andrew's product, uh, and one of the backers described it as rip off, rip off, rip off. <laughs> <laughs> so after is that, the, their Yelp review. Uh, that's his. Uh, that's his Indiegogo comment. I love it. I mean, there's more color. Here, let me see if I got another one. This is the part where we can look at the comments. Vaporware. <laughs> oh, my God. It's been almost a year. I want my mirror or my money back. Yep. <laughs> Why? Why uh, would you want a mirror, though? Like, that's silly. And what has happened one month and no information? I want my money. <laughs> like. Okay. Yeah. It was just a fraud for they gave no information. <laughs> Yeah. But some apparently this Emilio Carrillo wants his selfie mirror real bad. Needs his money. He needs it. Um 
So after this, Jeb Yoon went back into the nine to five workforce uh, in some like Chinese company, like mm-hmm. a Chinese design firm. Mm-hmm. And that's where I'd say like things should end or whatever. Um, but I, th- it's it, what's so funny is that like I want to say, like the like the nice guy in me wants to say that Jeb Yoon, like he knew his design was bullshit mm-hmm. and he got a little greedy. Mm-hmm. And he got a little carried away Mm -hmm. and he probably made a little bit of money. You know, he probably sold the idea to Saeed and then Saeed just went for it. By the way, that whole thing of him diving underneath, that was to prove that it worked after people said that it was impossible. And what it turned out was was happening is his quote unquote liquid oxygen. It was just a tiny air tank in each of those things and oh those and there was just a it was just like a normal rebreather with with 3d printed stuff on it to make it look like it was the triton oh lord <laughs> which is why the the footage only lasted like 14 minutes because he only had 14 minutes worth of worth oxygen of. and tiny canisters it wasn't anything revolutionary yeah. it was literally the same thing if not worse it's just like you did th- you did what everyone does but smaller yeah and and so I want I would want to give Jebune a pass if right. it weren't for him associating with this guy Andrew, because mm. funny enough, I have spoken with Andrew before. Really, I've actually worked with him. Who? Where? What? Remember, I worked in crowdfunding. Oh, yeah. So uh, Andrew came into my life sometime around 2015, 2016. It would have been 2015. Uh, he had this product. And I was like, this is a bullshit product, man. And he's like, no, don't worry about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, OK. So anyways, on top of possibly being a managing director of a torture museum. <laughs> and Andrew. Oh, or Andrew, <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, he, is everything he's, okay? He's basically like a money guy from Russia with really loose ties to some shady lending institutions. Yep. Basically banks that are just made of old oligarch money from like money stolen from the people during the <laughs> the, the Berlin Wall falling. Don't, know, don't want no part of that. Nope. Uh, he's responsible for no fewer than three crowdfunding campaigns that have never delivered <laughs> yeah. to customers despite not refunding any of the money. Uh, they were the selfie mirror, which was we just saw. Job Yoon. So mm-hmm. Job Yoon now, two for two. Good for you, Job Yoon. <laughs> Come on, Big J, what you doing? The Hexagon Smart Bike, uh, which was a, it was a camera that, it was basically a, a camera that went on the back of your bike and then connected with your phone so that you can see behind you while you're riding your bike. As a cyclist, do you need to see behind you? At- like, how important is that? You know, it wasn't until I just said it out loud I realized how dumb that is. Yeah, because <laughs> I don't usually ride a bike, but huh. when I do, I never... You're usually looking ahead. Don't care about what's behind me. <laughs> and they have mirrors for that. Yeah. And they, those mirrors don't cost any money, but wow. man, do they look dorky. Wow. And then he also made this thing called the Wit TV, which is basically a Chromecast. Uh <laughs> And uh, the Hexagon Smart Bike actually raised ninety thousand dollars, and it did not refund any of the money, and it never delivered. Of course not. Still hasn't delivered. It is now two thousand twenty. Wow. <laughs> and so since two thousand seventeen, when the the all right, that was it. Two thousand seventeen, Smart Hexagon Bike failed to deliver. Uh, he moved on to the next wild west of the internet, which was blockchain and initial coin oh, offerings. Jesus. <laughs> Here's a blurb from his new venture, Game Gold. <laughs> Which is definitely fake. Mm-hmm. Game Gold is a new game cryptocurrency, technically more perfect than Bitcoin, and based on script algorithm. Cryptocurrency Game Gold surpasses all game developers with easy integration API, provides a high degree of anonymity, low transfers fees, and absolute transparency of transactions due to block technology. Game Gold developers are interested in keeping coins on wallets providing the network stability so all long-term game gold holders are able to make a profit from the pool of developers. What? That sounds like MLM. <laughs> I think it is. Mm-hmm. Ooh. 
That sounds like an MLM. I wish babe. I could have found. I tried looking more into it. I couldn't. I couldn't find a damn thing. Oof. But yeah, now that now that you mention it, yeah. it's it's is it the line that says game gold developers are interested in keeping coins and laws providing the networks blah blah blah. So long term game gold holders are making the profit from pool of develop. That's so what an MLM is. Ah. Yeah. Because um, the the way people quote unquote make money in MLM is like you know the recruiting. It's the recruiting. It has nothing to do with that. What you're actually actually selling. The way you make money is recruiting the folks to do the selling. Yeah, and I don't know much about blockchain. I don't know much about cryptocurrency. I don't either. Um, I have heard that Bitcoin is basically the lowest. It's it's like in the blockchain like coding and shit everything's more or less built off of a ver- variation of bitcoin and bitcoin is the simplest uh-huh. because it was the first one mm-hmm. and everything else is just kind of like a, a like they do a tweak and it's a little more complicated every time mm. but you know it's still not a big deal so that but saying that it's more perfect than bitcoin is actually false if that is true yeah. then again I'm not a fucking Bitcoin person. I don't fucking know. Like I said, <laughs> we're keeping circling back to the same point. I am done. <laughs> I'm out. You are more than welcome to come. But I'm moving to the fucking woods. And I don't want any of this schlocky ass shit coming with me. I don't want to buy a fucking hexagon bike. <laughs> I don't need a bop it to go underwater and breathe. I I am so sick. Of all this bullshit that people spend their money on. And it's like, it's just pieces of plastic, you know. Pieces of plastic that were formed by a 3D printer. Or or even, like, fucking hot glued together. And it's like, where does that shit end up? Our oceans? <laughs> can, can, every, can everyone just stop making shit for like one minute? I mean, they never made it, though. Yeah, but, like, the <laughs> ideas... I'm on a different train here. <laughs> I'm on a different train, and I just need to get this out because I'm real tired of it. I'm real tired of just, like, just shit. You know, shit that isn't, isn't biodegradable. Shit that, like, we're, we're just all going to die. We're all going to die. Australia's on fire. Pro- Trump's probably going to get elected one more time. We're all just going to fucking die in a fire. And so the only thing to do is listen to this podcast and ride the train with us on the way down. I'll meet you in the woods. I have to go to bed. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, I guess that'll do it. Just cut that last part off. I don't have any idea what I'm talking about. I'm so tired. (laughs) Okay. Please edit it out. I will. If you don't. I'll find out about it and <laughs> there will be consequences. Sure. Okay. So, on the whole, mm-hmm. the whole Triton scam, did you did you learn a lot? I did. <laughs> I learned that the that not everything that is rendered uh-huh. is a real thing. True. Um not never trust something that looks like it really doesn't look like it should work Mm -hmm. um be careful of i'm sorry i am lost my train of thought that's fine i think i think two i think two is good i think those two things apparently they pretty much cover the entirety of crowdfunding scams yeah. <laughs> is it just because it's, it's rendered doesn't mean it's real. Yep. And if it looks like it shouldn't work, it probably, probably shouldn't work. Probably doesn't work. Yeah. And just like, here's the thing. I'll put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Um, the, the, oh, it'll it'll have it'll have a picture of Triton on it. <laughs> <laughs> just if it looks like it shouldn't work, it probably it probably shouldn't. doesn't. Um, here's what I think about crowdfunding as a whole. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that it is good for people that need it, like people to raise money for like, like, unfortunately we have to do this in America, but when like you have a health 
problem and you have like a hospital bill or some shit and you need like money from your friends you know i saw a video today i'm uh, talking about this lady that got fired for bringing a child to the er at her school that she taught at because he was sick with the flu and didn't have insurance <laughs> and so <laughs> so she drove him to the hospital are you and paid me? out of pocket for his care and she got fired because it wasn't the first time she had done it and she had been warned apparently so so she was just trying to save a kid's life i mean not i mean trying trying to have him be okay i guess yeah who knows if he was gonna i mean who dies from the flu anymore people do (laughs) (laughs) it's a thing that happens little kids yeah but he was like Like, 20 oh oh well yeah (laughs) (laughs) all right just turn my mic off i mean i turned it down okay Bye. Bye.